Could it be an early Super Bowl preview? It's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Coming up, the two teams with home field advantage if the season were to end today, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Chicago Bears and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they've been flawless these last couple months. Winners of nine in a row. And that's the kind of streak you don't see too often in today's NFL since there's so much parity. So the way they've played has been truly remarkable. is underway and they will not get a chance to return Let's this one here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there and the Buffet boys the O-line hopefully they're ready today listen you gotta feed them first Now Trubisky to throw. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40. Here we go. Slam, slam, slam. First down, a run with Cohen. Big Geno Atkins there to bring him down. A look there at the defensive starters for Cincinnati. They were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even mark. If you give up 17 points a game all year long... Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Draw play here, Trubisky gives to Cohen. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. And a look now at the Cincinnati offense. Out of the backfield is Joe Mixon, and he was a valuable commodity. To throw on second down, Kendall. And he slings one that's incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. They've been very good against the pass so far this year. Number four in the NFL right now. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, from the gun, Kendall. And Eifert has it. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Defense. Defense. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Mixon. And he is met quickly in the backfield. To throw on third down. Kendall. And a catch goal to Tyford. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Eifert. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. 
10 yards on the pickup there and expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jack. And this throw will be intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Kendall. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. Mixon with a first down carry. And down inside the 15 he goes. On first down, Kendall. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. To throw again, Kendall. Alluding the pressure right. Got his man. It's Eifert. Get that quarterback, Key Get that quarterback, Key Key get that quarterback. Off play action. Kendall sliding out of the pocket. He can run for And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. It wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. And he's going to keep it here. He'll have a first down past the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. There, after about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Trubisky gives to Cohen. Fighting room inside the 40. 20! 10! Touchdown, Chicago! Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Off the play fake, Kendall. And this one incomplete. Off play action, Kendall, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now Trubisky on first down. Open man is Trey Burton. And he slips up past the 45 and route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now a play fake here on first down. Miles Jack able to record his fifth sack of the season. He was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. On the draw, this is Cohen. It's a pickup of 12. Hey, the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And the catch is made by Riley Ridley. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A little bit of space there for the first down run. On second down, it's Cohen. And he is met in his tracks. And the Geno Atkins is really strong and stout at the point of attack. But I love his suddenness. The ability to make plays, to be in one spot, and then he's gone. And into the offensive backfield, he's a heck of a player. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point. On first and ten, Kendall. Complete to the right side, it's Eifert. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield. Back to Mixon on first down. Seven yards on the pick up there. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. From the gun on third down. Kendall, and tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. On 
fourth down. Kendall. And that is going to be incomplete. To gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punted the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick. On second down now. It's Cohen. Oh, Cohen lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. Acott's right sideline and some and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tip. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the 29, Trubisky. He's got Burton here. Seven yards there. Mind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress. Slap happy up here sometimes. Throwing on second and three. Trubisky, gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Trubisky. This one into the hands of Burton. Draw play, Cohen. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Oh, yeah. Now the Bears gonna use the second. Let's pick it up, it's out of time, guys. Out of time, let's get off the field. Trubisky now to throw on third down. Finding Gabriel complete. Touchdown, Chicago! <laughs> Throwing on first down, Kendall. And he completes it to Boyd. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second and one. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Operating from the gun, Kendall. He gets this one to Boyd. They'll get 14 on that one. On first down, Kendall. And that's going to be incomplete. Back to the air on second down, Kendall. And that is incomplete. On third down, Kendall. It's caught, Jones. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. From the gun to give to Mixon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. A 31 yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our Halftime Report. Playoff lives hanging in the balance as we take you around the NFL one final time. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue as you can see by the score line. Lamar Jackson, excellent in the W, as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. From there, we head up to Foxborough to check on the Patriots at home at Gillette Stadium. And they trail the visiting Denver Broncos in that one. Cortland Sutton, well over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. Finally, let's get over to Carson. See what's happening with the Chargers at home at Dignity Health Sports Park. And in that one is the visiting Giants who have the lead. Nelson Aguilar, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17. 
On first and ten, Kendall. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 12 yards that time in a Cincinnati first down. Off the play fake, Kendall. Green brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. From the gun, Kendall. And the coverage terrific there. Push him back. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he is met at the line of scrimmage. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. And a loose football. And this is picked up by the Bears. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. On first down, Cohen. And able to break one tackle. From the 29, Trubisky completes it to the tight end, Burton. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They'll run on first down. It's Cohen. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. After the penalty, it's Mixon. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Throwing on first down, Kendall. And that is incomplete. Throwing again, Kendall escaping the pressure right. This is caught, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Tyler Boyd, he is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. On second and seven, Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. down at the 22 after a gain of two. Off the bootleg. Kendall, he'll buy some time right. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. To throw on third down. Kendall going deep downfield for Ross. And unable to connect. Incomplete. In zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more. I think even more so is offensive line. <laughs> Again, it's Cohen. Still a couple yards short of the first. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trubisky will throw. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown. He brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Back to the air, Trubisky after the pick six. And this will be incomplete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yard. From the gun, it's Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. And he'll be brought down at the 28. Already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And he's got Miller. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? And he's going to be intercepted a third time. William Jackson with a pick. And his guys will set up shot. 
First down, here's White. It's a pickup of four. Now it's the backup Cousins. And that gonna be incomplete. On third down, Cousins. Complete to Jones. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, White. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Come on, QB, come on. Cousins. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. In their lead. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try again. They go to... And oh, it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But he will not be able to bring this one back. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? But this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. They'll leave it for Cohen, complete. A gain of four on the play. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Here's Trubisky to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. Seen as a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And he's got this down to the 35. They'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. This will be a gain of about eight. They have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Throwing here, Trubisky. And that's going to be incomplete. The easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now it's Trubisky. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off inside the 10. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And a cut to the right and some open field here. There he goes, right side. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. And it's no good. People like to do that. I remember playing for a guy what once we were down what? huge, what? and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. The catch made by Miller. Watch left, watch left. Tight end to the left, tight end to the left. <laughs> On first down, Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cohen. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. Down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Four down, four down. Check, check. Trubisky to throw again. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Now Trubisky on third and long. And he is tackled inside the 40-knot. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Cincinnati, a final win means they will finish off the regular season at a very strong 12-4. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for the Bears, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field.